Hello, thanks for stopping by today. I am participating in the Thailand Achievers blog hop today with a sneak peek from the occasions catalog that will be coming up in January. Many of you have probably received yours in the mail. What I'm going to um, spotlight today is this watercolor technique that's on the background here using our new watercolor pencils, but also highlighting the fun Dragonfly Dream um, bundle. So come on, let's get started. So here's a closer look at that card. I've used three colors of the new watercolor pencils, and what's really cool is the watercolor pencils come with 13 in a pack. White is being the 13th color, and the three colors that I'm going to use out of the pack today are the Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, and the Daffodil Delight. And I love that they tell you what color it is right on the side, and you do have the list of colors on the back side. Also comes with a nice pencil sharpener, easy to clean up and helps you to keep your pencils sharp for when you're coloring and um, here you can see a little peek at the dragonfly dreams bundle that's in the occasions catalog i'm excited to get started on this so what i'm using first is my piece of whisper white cardstock and you can use watercolor paper paper but of course, if you're making um, multiples of these, it's kind of nice to just use the Whisper White cardstock. And as long as you don't get it too wet, you won't have any problems. And I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit. And so I'm just going to start. And really what you're doing is just it's kind of a scribble. And I actually added all three colors, just a little bit of space in between them before I add my water. And then I just take an aqua painter, and you can start with, with at whatever color you want to, but I'm going to start at the top, and just by going over that. And then I just have a paper towel handy that I can clean off and be ready to start in the next color. And there really is no right or wrong way to do this. You just don't want to use too much water on your Whisper White cardstock. If you're using watercolor paper, you could do a lot more. But I'm actually doing this for a swap, and so I don't want them to get too wet so that they'll dry rather quickly. But I love that look. It's fast and easy background. It's just artistic looking. And then you notice that I just, this piece is um, three and a quarter by four and a half. And then my background, and I went ahead, even though I'm using Calypso Coral, it looked bright enough to me that I could use it with Watermelon Wonder. I just wanted a little bit brighter, so that's what I've mounted it on. And that piece is 3 and 3 eighths by 4 and 5 eighths. And just added my single sequence on there to give a little bit of bling. I used the thick white cardstock just because I really like the thickness of that and I've chosen to score it at five and a half so that it's easier to fold. Anyway, that's my fun sneak peek. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you are getting excited for celebration and for taking advantage of those wonderful new products out of the occasions catalog.